Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are closed here in Echuca at the Twisted Science Center again. Um, but that's good news for you guys because we can do lots of videos on all sorts of activities and experiments that you guys can do at home. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing for the next couple of months. Lots and lots of videos. So if you want some science experiments and activities to do at home, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell. We're gonna try and do a couple of videos each week. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so today we are gonna make some bouncy balls, everybody. And these bouncy balls have been designed so you guys can do them at home as well. Some of these ingredients are a little bit tricky to get, um, but you should be able to find all of these. So, let's run through them. So first of all, you need some <laughs> glitter. Now we've got a massive thing of glitter. You do not need that much glitter. We've got some red and some gold. We've just divided up there a little bit. You'll need some icy pole sticks, or at least one icy pole stick. Um, I'll get them out so you can see them a bit better. You guys know what icy pole sticks look like, right? We have got um, a little thing to mix with. We're gonna show you how to use that later. You don't necessarily need this, but you will need something to mix with, all right? We are gonna use um, some syringes as well. Again, same thing. We use them because they're a little bit easier to use um, to do it the way we're gonna do it, but they're, d they're definitely not necessary. And then we've got some gelatin here. So this you can just get from the supermarket. This is called gelatin. We've also got our other ingredient is PVA powder. This might be a little bit tricky to find. Um, it's polyvinyl alcohol, or I think usually it's marketed just as PVA powder. You can find it on eBay um, and places like that. We've also got some water here. We need some water. Water is one of the best chemicals. You can do lots of stuff with water. And you need a mixing bowl. Whoops, a daisy. All right. So there it is. So that's everything we're gonna need. So if you wanna follow along, grab all that stuff or just do it later after the video. All right, you ready? Let's start doing stuff. Our first step is making our powders, getting our two powders together, mixing them together and making our, yeah, making our powder. So what we wanna do is get, we're using a teaspoon here. Mitch, come and have a look. We're using a teaspoon. So we want two scoops with our teaspoon, nice flat scoops here. One, two, Okay, and we don't want a quite a full one of our gelatin, so I'm gonna do a little bit less. So you guys, what you can try at home is you can try different combinations. You could try um, two scoops of PVA to two of gelatin or one of PVA to two of gelatin or whatever you wanna do. You can try different things. We've found that this is a pretty good um, ratio to get a nice bouncing ball. So I'm gonna mix it up like that. So it should be all kind of one color. Perfect. Looking good, right? All right, perfect. Now, we're going to get some glitter. So we've got some red glitter and some gold glitter. This is optional, you don't need to put glitter in, but it just makes the balls kind of a little bit more glittery. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some here. You don't want too much, if you put too much in, um, your ball's not gonna stick together very well and then it's not gonna bounce. And there's no good at having a bouncy ball that doesn't bounce, that's no fun. So I've got a fair bit in there, you probably don't need that much to be honest. I'm gonna mix that up as well. Nice glittery mess in there. Perfect. That's what we, oh, that's what we like to see. All right. Good, good. So now we're gonna get our water. We're gonna sort out our water. Sorry everybody, we forgot. You need one more ingredient, you need some food dye. So I've got some green food dye here. You don't need green, you can use whatever color you want. Um, like Mitch reminded me before, if you don't want a green, if you want a white one, basically, if you want a white, <laughs> if you want a white bouncy ball, don't use any of these colors. But I want a green one, so I'm gonna use green. Pardon? Any of the one color? Yeah, but they might have blue or yellow or red, right? So I'm using green for my food dye, so there. Right, so come over and have a look. 
we are gonna get our, we're gonna use our syringe. Now you might've used a syringe before. If you haven't, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Syringes are really good at sucking, at sucking, at sucking up precise amounts of liquid, okay? So what I'm gonna do, we, we actually want 10 milliliters of water into our little test tube over here, this guy. And this has got a 10 on it. What a coincidence. Now we could suck up 10, we could just go up to 10. And now we've got 10 milliliters of water. Or we could do, if you guys are good at maths, we could do five. And then how much, how much more would we need? Five. Five, Mitch reckons five. No, he's, he doesn't know. I'm gonna do three. And then how much more do we need? Two. Cause that adds up to 10, right? <laughs> That's so silly though. Let's just do 10. All right, here we go. We're gonna do 10. Like that, pop it in. Try not to spill any, perfect. Now again, if you don't, if you don't have a syringe, you might be able to use something else. Are you getting a good shot of that, Mitch? Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my green in. I'm gonna do five drops. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And pop my lid on here. Hopefully it fits. Oh yeah, like a glove, like a lid, it fits like a lid. All right, and then what we're gonna do is give it a bit of a shake. You can have a dance as well if you want. This is me, this is how I dance. It's not very good dancing, is it? All right, so that's all shaken up. Shook up, shaken, shook? Shaken. Shooken, I think it's shooken, shooked. I'm all shook it up. All right, come in. Now what we're gonna do is we wanna get all of this in with there, but we're gonna mix it at the same time. So, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna pour it in. Oh, look at that, doesn't that look good? And then we're gonna start mixing away. So you want it all mixed together. You've made a Christmas one, green and I red. I did, I made a Christmas one. It's not even Christmas. Christmas what a, in July, oh, it's August now. Yeah, it's August. Maybe it's, for, maybe it's July for these guys, though. Eh? Yeah. July 2021. Ah. <laughs> All right, so we're mixing it up. Now, before it dries too much, we wanna get it out. Now, this is where we get a little bit messy, but that's fun. I'm gonna get it out, and then we're gonna roll this into a ball. This is, this is done. We just need to get it into ball shape. Now, if it's a little bit fally your party, like mine is, I'm just gonna dip it in some water. You, did you catch that, Mitch? Yep. Dip it in, in some water, water, in the water, like that. Let it go for a swim. And that's just gonna add a little bit of extra water. And then we wanna roll it into a ball. Now, your hands are gonna get super, super duper sticky. But that's okay, because we can wash them. That's what hands are good for, for washing. You guys, are, I reckon at the minute, you'd be pretty good at washing your hands, especially with sanitizer. So that is gonna be our bouncy ball. Now, it is kind of ready, but we have to wait for a long time before it bounces. Uh, by a long time, I mean 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed it up. Maybe we'll make another one as well. We're gonna speed it up, everything, so you guys don't have to wait for 20 minutes. And I'll see you back here in a minute. So we thought that um, while we're waiting for this one, this is our little green, green guy, little green man. Um, while we're waiting for this to dry, oh, was that a bit quick? Oh, got to move slowly. Um, we're going to make a bigger one because everybody likes bigger ones, right? So we're going to do, instead of two scoops of PVA, we're going to do four. One, two, <laughs> three. I think you should do six. Mitch wants six, all right, six. Five. Six, oh my goodness, this is a really big one. I don't know if this is gonna work, it's so big. All right, and then we're gonna do um, two full scoops of this one. One, two, just making it up. And now we're gonna give it a stir. We're gonna use the same, the same stir -a -roo. Give it a mix. Now we use, you don't wanna use um, your good spoons when you're doing this because this is very sticky and you'll get all Stuff. Sticky, yeah, it's like, it's glue basically, so you want to be a little bit careful. We, we're picking up some of this green from last time. That's all right, that'll make it even better. Blue and green make. Ooh, bluey green. 
aqua. Mm. All right, give it a mix. Now, instead of one of these, we need three of these now. So we're gonna do three of these bad boys. And you guys can try and make some big ones or some small ones or some all sorts of different ones. Through one, two. You're gonna put some color. Three, yeah, yeah, color's coming. And then we do some color. Put some blue in there. So we might need 10 drops, and I better be quick before it sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just for good measure. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> now it's very important. Did you see how precise we were? Very important to be very precise when you're making bouncy balls. You might have a motley. Oh, we didn't do glitter. Oh no. Just a little bit of gold. Little bit. Little bit, Mitch. All right. Blue and gold. I think we need more water. Very precise, precise. very precise. A bit more water. <laughs> <laughs> Precision. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. All right, here we go. Get in there. All right, now I'm gonna dig it out. It's, not, it's fairly multicolored as well. The color hasn't spread as much as we might have hoped. We're gonna get that in, mix it up. That looks pretty good. Can I get it? Oh my goodness, it's so gross. And maneuver it into a bit of a sphere. Can they make an irregular shaped bounce ball? Absolutely, and it's fun. Sometimes we made um, like cube ones. You guys can, can make a cube or a triangle or something, triangular prism. And then when you bounce them, you don't know where they're gonna go. They bounce all over the place. There we go, look at that. What a, what a sweetie. Giant bouncy ball. Now this one might take a while to dry. I might get something to put it on. Let's put it on this thing. All right, so we are gonna go and we're gonna come back. We're gonna fast forward in time and you guys can see them bouncing. Okay, everyone, so it's time to check out our bouncy balls. So come and have a look. We're doing a, a clipboard reveal. Ooh, we're gonna reveal behind the clipboard. You ready? Three, two, one, ta-da! Here are our bouncy balls. We've got our regular size green one and our massive blue one. Our blue one has got a little bit of a flat bottom because it's so heavy it's kind of went flat under its own weight but that is cool because then it's going to bounce around and we're not going to know where it's going to go so let's have a try let's have a bouncy bounce so we get the green guy pretty good right pretty good for a little homemade ball oh no <laughs> So have a go, have a go at home. You can try some different sizes, some different amounts of gelatin and PVA. The big ones sometimes break, but this one's going all right. Pretty good. Ah, oh, we lost it. But have fun, uh, let us know how you go with it. Remember to like and subscribe if you wanna see more activities and more fun stuff. See you next time. Bye everyone, see ya.